it seems like you're a very busy person this year. Uh, so congratulations on that. Uh, one of the things that uh, that I wasn't expecting this year was of the return of the Proud family. The, how was that for you? Because that is such an amazing character with such such a personality. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for having me. Yes, um, love Dijanae. She's she's loud. She's proud. <laughs> she's yeah. sassy. Uh, she's fun. She's that crazy best friend. Uh, but I love voicing her. She has so much energy and personality. And it was such a joy to be able to come back and voice her again. I mean, fans have been asking for many, many years. Uh, when when would we do a reboot or revival? So we're, we're very happy to be back. And, and I'm thrilled to be voicing her again. What was your reaction when you when you got the call to come back and voice this character again? I was like, "What? Finally!" I was so excited. I really was, and and of course they wanted to know, did my voice change, or you know, was I still <laughs> sound the same? So, uh, but it was it was it was great. Uh, Ralph Farquhar, our executive producer and, and creator Bruce Smith, they 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 got on the line together and called me. So it was it was very special. And um, how important is it to have representation like this show has? Because this show, from the beginning, from from its first uh, iteration, it, it, it's a great representation of people of color. Yeah, I mean, certainly it was then in early two thousands, and you know, strangely, you know, not so good that it's still you know, anomaly. Mm. And so we're we're happy to be able to share uh, the black and brown culture uh, and talk about things that, you know, affects us, uh, whether we're talking about Juneteenth or uh, Kwanzaa, you know, any of those cultural mm -hmm. holidays, King Sieta, all of those topics we, we, so we discuss and, and we make it in a fun and exciting way. So a uh, mm -hmm. lot of cultural uh, aspects and teachings and, and wonderful topics that we love to explore and share. Definitely. And you also get a chance uh, in another one of your projects to work with Tyler Perry, who has done a lot for the, for the uh, uh, people of color community. Uh, what was that like? Absolutely. Um, definitely on my bucket list. It was a dream come true. I remember auditioning for him years ago. And um, I, I was, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No problem. I'm focused. <laughs> um, I was, um, you know, I was just thrilled. Uh, I had just been wanting to work with him for years. So it was definitely a bucket list. And he treated me so wonderfully. He's uh, so generous and wonderful spirit and heart. So it was it was definitely a, a dream come true. Awesome. And what can you tell me about that character? What, what was it about it that made you want to play that character? Um, well, I, I love the show and I love his work. And again, it was it was all Tyler Perry. Uh, but then, you know, to be that mother in law from hell who kind of comes in and doesn't leave. I mean, again, just a really funny character. And um, so I enjoyed working with uh, Candace Renee, who plays my daughter and Monty Washington, my son in law. So uh, it, it was big fun, big fun with that cast too. great cast, great young men. Awesome. And um... You know, you, you're part of the number one series uh, that debuted on Netflix, uh, Monster, the, uh, the Dahmer story. Mm -hmm. What was it with that character that made you want to be a part of this? Yeah, well, you know, I, I love both comedy and drama equally. I love to do them both. And so this gave me an opportunity, of course, to do some drama. Um, it was a story that I remember hearing about when it had occurred. Mm -hmm. And of course, we, you know, we know all the stories and, and the history about Dahmer, but um, we had not heard about his victims and the mm -hmm. mostly young black and brown men um, whom he victimized. So it was it was wonderful to get to tell that story, to shine a light on who these young men were, you know, full of life, full of hopes and dreams and joys. Uh, but it also gave me an opportunity to um, use one of the tools in my tool belt, uh, American Sign Language. So I was really thrilled to be able to get to use that. Definitely. Um, did you ever... Uh, from from reading the script, did, did you ever think that it would, they would cause such a controversy like it, it has at the moment? Because uh, oh. 
I believe, yeah, it is a story that needs to be told because if we don't tell the story, history will repeat itself. So what what do you feel about this controversy? How do you feel about it? Yeah, absolutely. Like, um, I certainly had no idea, you know. I mean, I know when you uh, talk about a serial killer and I know mm -hmm. the tendency in our American society to kind of um, sensationalize or, you know, glorify those type of killers. Um, but I, the, the approach that Ryan Murphy and Janet Ma, Carl Franklin, you know, some of the producers really wanted to highlight was um, about his victims and mm -hmm. their lives. And so I wasn't really a part of all of the gore. Um, mm -hmm. You know, our part was really about the family and about mm -hmm. my young son who who was uh, deaf and, and the love that he had and his dreams of, you know, being a model and, and just, you know, his challenges in life, but how he just had this wonderful magnanimous spirit to overcome all of that. And so um, following my storyline, I mean, I just fell in love with the kid, you know, mm -hmm. and his story and, and their family. And so I wanted to be a part of that, and, but I had no idea, you know, the kind of controversy, but um, I understand it, I get it. Um going along with that uh sympathizing with the with the victims that saw this and you know were re re brought into this story uh what would what message do you want to send to them yeah um that that i certainly um i get it you know i understand you know being re-traumatized by something and my, my heart just really goes out to them um for sure awesome and um you you know you worked with Tyler Perry, which was a dream, and now you have Ryan Murphy. What is that like? <laughs> I know, right? Um, you know, we had different directors. Uh, certainly, you know, we know this was a Ryan Murphy project, so I was really thrilled to see it. Um, I did not get to meet him, um, I, but I, you know, Paris Barclay, who directed. Uh, episode six, which is the main story of uh, the my family, my character's family. Uh, he, Paris Barclay is just, you know, he's an Emmy award winning director. It was wonderful to get to work with him. He's he's just so smart and on it. And, and it was just, that was the bucket list too. So, um, uh, but yeah, I mean, just being a part of a Ryan Murphy project. I mean, that's just, of course, kudos. So I'm really thrilled about that. Definitely. And you are part of so many projects uh, uh, in the 90s. Uh, you know, you got to come back and play Tishanae once again. Is there any other character that you hope comes back with all these reboots and remakes that are, that are coming up? Oh, wow. That's a good question. A different world. I hope my character Charmaine, <laughs> uh, who's, you know, started out on the Cosby show and then uh, did a year on a different world. But, you know, uh, I, I went to an HBCU. I was Miss Howard University. Uh, we just had a uh, homecoming. I, I went to my boyfriend's homecoming at Langston University. So th that whole HBCU experience is still uh, unparalleled and just a wonderful thing. So I think that would be good to, to put out another series about HBCU. Awesome. And you have so many different characters you played from drama to sitcoms uh, to comedies. What make what, what what do you look for in a character that uh, for you to audition? What what is it that captures your attention when you pick characters? Wow. Um well I have to first like the story <laughs> and um and I, I, you know, if there's a role where I can do both uh, at the same time, I certainly like to do that. I'm a theater baby. I do a mm -hmm. lot of theater still, uh, whether we're talking about classical theater, Shakespeare, Ibsen. Uh, uh, but, you know, I also like to do contemporary things, too, as well. So um, I, I look for something that just resonates with me, that speaks to my heart and something, mm -hmm. of course, you know, I want art to not only be entertaining, but I want it to be functional, to to have a, a point of view and to teach something. So uh, those are the kinds of things that I look for. And what what uh, from yourself do you bring into your characters? What What is it that, you know, you take from your own personal experience that you want to share with people? Yeah. Um, 
you know, what, whatever I can, you know, certainly uh, just having life experience, you know, I'm in my late 50s and I bring all of that to the table. Uh, I bring all of who I am, you know, a girl from Philly, uh, a Buddhist, uh, you know, so every, every, every faction of me, every part of me, um, I try to bring myself to it uh, without getting in the way of the character and the storytelling, for sure. I don't put my own bias or things like that on, you know, I don't judge the character, for sure. But I, I do bring most of myself to it. Awesome. And is there any project you're working on that we should keep a lookout? Um, what do I have? Nope, bruh, and uh, louder and prouder, uh, proud family. And you know, I'm the thing about this business is you never know what's next, mm -hmm. and sometimes that can be you know filled with anxiety or it can be filled with joy. And so, at this point in my career, it's always exciting to know like what's next. So, mm -hmm. I'm excited to know what's next myself. Awesome. Oh. Knowing that about the industry, what keeps you going? What keeps you motivated? It's, it's, I love it. It's my passion. Um, I don't know how to do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's, it's been good. I've been very fortunate to have a wonderful career, to be able to make a living doing what I love to do. And all of its ups and downs, I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. I'm, I'm very fortunate. Awesome. Well, congratulations on everything. You're a fantastic actress. <laughs> Dijon is an amazing character. You did amazing on um, Dahmer. And, you know, I hope to continue seeing uh, more of your stuff and, you know, you continue with your success. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And thank you for having me.